from league side Sligo Rovers. Now they haven't achieved much since uh, Laurie left them about 10 years ago, but they're back with a bang. And as Austin O'Callaghan reports, it's a Belfast man who's led the revival. All good things come to those who wait. But in truth, Sean Connor hasn't been delayed for too long. This was the scene last Saturday night. In his first season with Sligo, he's won the Aircom First Division title, and with it an even bigger prize for this football mad town, promotion to the Premier League. Your first trophy is always going to be special. I hope it's not my last trophy, and that's up to me to work, you know, work on that over the next couple of years. But right now, this will go down. Hopefully, when I'm managing the Premiership in England, this is my first trophy. Come on! The Premiership in England. Well, there's confidence for you. But why not aim high? After all, this is the club where Laurie Sanchez began his managerial career 11 years ago. And in amongst this current rejuvenation, you'll find more than one Ulsterman. Last season with the Glens, it went down to the last but one game. Uh, same scenario again today. I'm just glad to get Miller a uh, championship medal. Two in one in one season. You know, it's a great achievement. Hello, John Connery, go to Margaret. Thank you. Yeah, it's something special that we've got a few Belfast boys in the team. Us Belfast people, we're hard working and we don't like getting beat. And that's what this is all about. So, a note for Derry City and the other Aircon League big guns for next season. Sean Connor and his Rovers have got a taste for success again. Austin O'Callaghan, BBC Newsline, at the showgrounds in Sligo.